You know, the Frontiers in Flight Air Show, an open house, returns this weekend after a four-year hiatus. The highlight of the show will be the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. KSN's Jason Lamb got a one-on-one -on -one with a Thunderbird pilot this week. When little aviators meet big aviators, dreams can be set into motion. My, my dad is a pilot for Cessna, and we've always like flown around. Uh, flown around in airplanes. I've been in Cessna and Bonanza, and I've kind of always wanted to be a pilot. I've kind of had thoughts like a long time ago, maybe when I was like 12 or so, thinking about it, and now I'm like pretty certain that I really want to become a pilot. That was also the case for the only female pilot on the F-16 Thunderbirds team. Yeah, so when I was in second grade, uh, astronauts came to our school, and the fact that they were astronauts didn't settle, um, but the fact that they were fighter pilots did. So being from Minnesota, not a big military presence, I went home as a little eight-year-old girl, and I was like, Mom, I want to be a fighter pilot. She's like, all right, Lauren, I don't know how you know those words, but okay, you better study hard. Uh, and that just kind of was my dream since I was eight years old to fly and be a fighter pilot for the military. Major Lauren Schlickling grew up to become only the sixth female pilot to tour with the Thunderbirds. I mean, this is an amazing opportunity to one fly, but work with such an elite team. Meet and greets such as this give dreamers the chance to meet the best of the best. Yeah, our mission is to recruit, retain, and inspire just the next generation. So whether that's into the military, um, any of the branches, or into the Air Force, or really just inspire someone to find their passion and give everything they have to something bigger than themselves, um, that's our goal. That's why these elite officers are seen as leaders and role models. Honestly, it's like an absolute honor to be able to wear the patch and wear this flight suit and be a part of this team. It's humbling every day, and it's one of the most exciting things. Thunderbirds just finished their dress rehearsal, much to the delight of hundreds of spectators out there on the airfield. Gates of McConnell open at 9 Saturday and Sunday morning. Air acts will begin at noon, but the Thunderbirds take to the sky at 3. All right, that was Jason Lamb reporting, by the way. Thanks. So how's the weather going to hold up here for this air show? Meteorologist Lucy Dahl, how's it looking? Be perfect. In the upper 80s tomorrow, winds out of the south, switching to the north by the afternoon, but a very light breeze at that, plenty of sunshine to go around. Then as we head into Sunday, temperatures start to slip back into those mid 80s. Winds continue to be out of the north, a little bit breezier on Sunday, but overall it's going to be a great weekend, plenty of sunshine. Make sure you bring the sunscreen because we are going to have plenty of sunshine to go around. And if you do head out to the air show, make sure you check out the stem hanger. We'll have Storm Track 3 with myself, Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman, and Meteorologist Warren Sears throughout the entire weekend. We'd love to come out and meet with y'all. All right. Thank you, Lucy. You can keep your eyes to the sky right from your own phone. Just install our free Storm Track 3 weather app.